Arts Avenue, you don't have to go to Neverland to see Peter Pan. The world famous story is coming to the Milwaukee Ballet. And joining me now live over Zoom is the ballet's artistic director, Michael Pink. Michael, thank you so much for joining us this morning. My, my, my pleasure, my pleasure. What a day to join you. <laughs> yes, yes, what a day indeed. Now, please tell me a little bit about how you're bringing the magic to this story on stage. Well, I think firstly, let's just acknowledge Peter Pan is probably one of the most amazing stories. It's all about youthful innocence. It's about escapism, as you mentioned. Everybody goes to Neverland, which is an imaginary island where we have the darling children. We have Nana the dog. We have the crocodile. We have Captain Hook. We have Smee, the pirates, the princesses, and so on and so forth. It's such an iconic story that, uh, for me, the magic is really in the people that come to see it. And it's all about you using your imagination. But but this is a very special weekend, of course, that we the next weekend, which is Mother's Day. So I'm presenting this really in the hope that we can bring families together. We can escape together into this amazing place. It's a nonstop adventure that I guarantee everybody will fill you with such joy and happiness. And there'll be a few tears of emotion as the children return, as the children leave. There are so many wonderful things in this production. N nonetheless, as you're just seeing on, on, on the screen, the incredible flying by ZFX is just magical. We presented this over a decade ago and it was sold out and then it was screened on national PBS across the country to great acclaim. So please, 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 we're only open for one weekend, so come and join us, escape with us to Neverland, and I guarantee you, you will leave with your heart filled with joy and a smile on your face, and your children will thank you forever and ever and ever. Of course, and I have to imagine it's going to be such a joy-like feeling to be able to watch this come to life on stage, as, as you mentioned, you know, the magic between the folks that are coming to watch, but also those who are performing on stage, I mean, with such talent, it's going to be quite an amazing weekend, as you just said. It's a, it's a big weekend, and it involves students from our school. And I think one of the important things is, again, that we, we're so used to, especially after all those years of being locked up with COVID, watching screens, having to do Zoom meetings as we're doing, um, that to be live in the theatre recaptures our, our passion, our imagination, and our, our total escapism from the noise outside. We go into the theater, we go there, people dress up, people experience, they, they just have wonderful experiences that will build memories, and particularly this story, because it builds memories for our families, and generation upon generation will keep coming back to Peter Pan. It is one of the most iconic stories, and it's a joy to perform. My company are all all behaving as lost boys and having a wonderful time. Every day, they're smiling, they're happy, they're flying. They're, they're just having the most wonderful time. And I want to be able to share that with every single person in this city. And if I could, around the world. Of course. Now, I know this is the final Michael Pink original of the season. Are there any more originals planned for next year? Well, there's a very big original, which, of course, is the new Nutcracker, which will feature uh, a, a December of this year. We are hard at work putting this together. We're still raising funds for it. So anybody that would like to help me, please get in touch with me. But I guarantee you that is going to be a true escape into Drosselmeyer's Imaginarium. So a Nutcracker for the next uh, the next two, three decades. Um, that will be a very exciting production. It's been quite a year, I have to say. I don't think I've ever presented quite so many large-scale productions, but we want to make sure people know that the ballet is here, we're here to stay, and that we're back and we're live, and that arts in this community is quite simply amazing. We just have to find more ways to fund it uh, in a way so that we can make sure we can preserve it for generations to come. Most definitely. Well, Michael, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Michael Pink's Peter Pan is on stage at the Marcus Performing Arts Center May 11th through the 14th. You can find more information and a link to tickets on our website, WISN.com.